guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So you read the title already. We are going to answer assumptions, and uh, by we, I mean Sara and Rachel here. So we both are going to answer assumption. I know there's lot of curiosity about this, uh, you know, field because like it's all very, you know, I don't know why it's always very um, kind of like confidential and everything because maybe it's like not a mainstream thing. You know, there's not a lot of information. So we just thought we'll answer a few or like address few assumptions and tell the assumptions are very hot. Like these yeah. are spicy assumptions. No. Like so, yeah, you you got to need a snack to be able to digest <laughs> the facts. So we thought, you know, why not? Like at least answer is there myths or uh, like see there are few things which we cannot answer because it's like kind of few questions are not our business. Um, but few things we'll answer if they're true or not. We can like. Tell like at least if they're true or not. What is the exact situation or something like that? So let's get started. You have to first oh, introduce oh, me, bro. Oh, Your channel audience doesn't know me. I I don't know why I thought everybody like okay anyway. Better than me, I think it's better if she introduces herself. So Sara, tell who you are. So I create beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube, and I'm also a medical student who's studying occupational therapy. So if you want to check my channel out, the link will be in the description box. I don't know how do you manage studying and YouTube life. The question or question of the year. I no, I Why could not. You? you know, when I was in college, I wanted to, but I was like. I don't know. I I I did engineering. I didn't even do medicine. First assumption is one of the most common ones I've seen it around. So it says that creators need to be super rich from the start so that they can afford equipment and makeup and everything. Mm. So I think that so is something I got in the question. Um, telling from personal experience, you don't have to. When I was in Pune, I used to get like five thousand as pocket money, and I used to live in a flat. Okay, I used to live in a flat, See? and I used to even have to my groceries, my partying with friends, and my you know everything. So I mean, I started off back then even with whatever little bit I had, which was not like I was like super fully rich that I had like everything I had. Very limited supply until like I think six months ago. Also, I smell like money buy like everything. But whatever money I earned, I invested back into makeup. So uh, you know, I didn't like have extra pleasures which I could use you know like money for. Uh, yeah, exactly. Whatever I got, exactly. I just invested it back. Yeah, true. Same. Like for me, I mean, I would not say super rich, but like for me, like it's my my house is taken care of, right? I don't have to sit and pay family bills or anything. Touch wood, Alhamdulillah. Like that way, I don't have to do work, but. I my parents didn't give me a camera, a laptop, everything. All of that was like that five thousand pocket money. I did it like I used to borrow my friend's camera and go all the way, like five kilometers on the Activa, go drop the camera every time I finished filming. So that is how I started with a lot of jugard. So I think it's the passion that should make you want to start it and not the yeah. money. So yeah, for especially my dad, he doesn't give off money like he. He doesn't like. He is like. He doesn't give money that easily. He doesn't like. You know, goes splurge. Like, nothing like that. Yeah, no. Who gives like that. even my parents so, value for, me, for money? So for me, whatever I bought. One advantage I had is that my sister was in US. So if somebody was coming, like she used to send me one palette or like you know two palettes like if I want. Uh, and always, yeah. um, you have to budget out your stuff. Don't buy three thousand ka foundation just because it's nice. You can buy three. Like so many different things in that three thousand. Yeah, which is I better, like you know? any. I think any beauty creator who starts, we start with like Miss Claire. Yeah. Like initially, yeah, exactly. when I makeup was only Miss Claire, Maybelline, Lakme. Yeah. This was the jam, you know. To buy my first, my first Mac foundation, child mom gave my first Huda Beauty foundation. I had saved up from three months pocket money, thousand thousand rupees, to buy my first I, Huda foundation. So I tried Mac before, but imagine this is the first Mac foundation that like recently I got. I've tried Mac because like from friends and ah, stuff, so I know how ajha. it is. But I personally haven't bought it. Like, and so far into the journey, they, they, we've you've just bought your first Mac foundation. So like, just imagine, you guys, you don't have to be that. I no. The more incredible thing is, I didn't buy. I got you like, bought it. Sent sent me this. So, Dude, that, yeah. that that feels so it's good, Ra. Yeah, it feels very good. Exactly. You know, I got a lot of PR recently, but I because when I got the Mac foundation. It felt different because I always wanted to buy. It never like. Yeah, it's very expensive. Felt for right, so you know, but it's a good foundation. But it's a really good foundation. It's a really good yeah. foundation. Yeah, yeah. It was my first foundation when I had cystic acne. Bapre, it was my lifesaver. 
Yeah, because the for, like the formula doesn't affect your acne. It's like a good Skin. one for acne. Yeah, it's a very good form. Next question. So, I, so first, like initially, when I put the assumption, they you know texted, okay, assumption, you all secretly all hate each other. I was like, but let me see if somebody from dude, the heap is like he messaged me also that. Even for me, I got it. So I was like, Akansha already messaged me that you tried so to ask like, for that. The, I, I think someone from the audience also should say this. And immediately after he said, everybody had the same question. So um, yeah, that you guys are like basically that you guys are jealous of selfish. You're jealous of each other. You secretly like you behave nice to each oh. other. But you secretly hate each other. You know, this is the. Is it? Is it Akanksha? Is it true? Yeah, I hate you so much right now. You have no Just idea. shut up. I know you love me. Come on, you love you, your life is surrounded by Aquarius. Oh yeah. So <laughs> you can't you can't hate me even if you want. To. It's, it's the start. I cannot do anything. Dude, I, I mean I feel like if I follow somebody, I admire their work, which is why I'm following them. Like I will not see if that person follows me back. I will not see there are so many creators who I feel like you know like oh this creator is not following me back I'll unfollow that is not the case with me I will only follow if I'm like inspired by your True. work and like of course because I'm looking for inspiration online right I'm a creator myself if I'm if I like somebody's work I'll not only appreciate it but also want to recreate it so that is like you know when you do such trending videos I'm always like dude like wow you know so that your work is what I would why would I be jealous of your personal life is none of my business. Your work is why you're here, right? So I look at Instagram purely yeah, I, like I, I, and creator it's work. Not that serious as I think people take it, like in terms of you know, people are jealous of each other. I think when you know when you're like happy with yourself, you like don't mind if somebody else is doing it. When you're so well. content yeah. that you can't really care much about it. I personally other. don't have any True. grudges. Like it's not like I've supported somebody and secretly I hate them. There is Yeah, that I, thing I can't do only, I really have that. But I hate Sara right now. Um, Just shut so <laughs> Dude. I, even if I want to I can't be fake only. That's my biggest like uh, the person will understand only that I'm so fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take the next assumption and there are so many assumptions about money. I think money is the hot topic when it comes to yeah. creators and uh, like clubbing two or three assumptions. One is that earning money in this industry is super easy and they earn a lot of money. So tell me Akanksha, do you earn a lot of money and is it super easy? There is money, of course, in this industry. There's a lot of money, uh, but it's not like it'll just come to you overnight. Like you just put one video, and in the past one year, unless there's nepotism, like you uh, know, I mean, there's yeah. like unless you know a famous person or you come from a lineage yeah. of creators, which is where that original creator that point, has done the effort. Um, the audience follows you because they like somebody else. I think it doesn't like just come that way naturally. Uh, that they start liking you and following you for yourself. Maybe? Yeah, I mean that's always there. Like I think with vlogs that becomes easier because that person may be in somebody else's vlogs and then you've seen them, you like their personality, maybe that's why you're subscribing. Yeah. But basically to create that audience takes years and that kind of patience, that kind of investment that has gone like even today I buy so much high end makeup to review, like so much clothes to create hauls, like so much like content investment is every video there's an investment. Plus the production that you want to keep increasing, right? Like yeah. some people so will be like, oh, why is your like... People see the pretty side of it. They just see what happens in front of the camera. Um, so, you know, I don't think that people see like, you know, a video the banana. I mean, a video banana ke liye, you have to get the idea. You have to write down. Oh, dude. You have to, and, like, you know, note down the points. You have it's to a if full it's a process. Deal, you have to send it across. And, and you know, brand deals so are the toughest to crack. You know? Like, initially, I used to yeah. think, oh, it's so easy it's like to just talk and then you're getting paid to talk. You know, yeah. that's what I think a lot of assumptions are like that and I I'm not gonna like shade on y'all because I also used to think like that like assumption like as a person who was not a creator even I would think now like you know do it. yeah for talking you're just getting yeah. paid but oh my god it's not that easy you I'm have to different. you have to please the people there are so many edits that go behind the camera there are so many claims so many things you have to keep in mind 
to be able to crack it and secondly you have to do a good job if you want them to come back to you if you don't do a good job you're losing yeah, the brand for good yeah. Yeah, they'll not they'll not come back to you, and they are like a big company. So you have to like the bigger the company, the more you want to please them. You know, oh, it's this one. Yeah. So I think it's a lot of stress in general. I feel like my mental health is so at a <laughs> supreme high. No, like imagine I'm always I anxious. I filmed the Diwali, both two days of Diwali. I I filmed all Diwali. Same. Like you know, the fourteen and fifteen that I was filming. I you know I know a few people looking at perspective. Oh, you know they are they do like so much work. They're not like you know posting. It's not that. But it it is work. Like you know, you cannot just be little the work, the amount of work we do. Yeah, it's not a nine to yeah. five job. So I I mean like see, I come from a world where I do a nine to five also, and I I do this right. If I tell you both is work and both is very tedious, but when I leave my hospital, I know I'm done. I I don't have, have to, to go back or work days. from home or do anything to add to that life. Yeah, I don't have to be thinking that okay tomorrow. Maybe in the morning I'll get up and be like okay to, today this patient is coming in. What is to be done? That's the bare minimum I will think. All the major work happens at the workplace, but over here there's a lot of behind the scenes. Like you're constantly thinking okay this brand has said this or this video has to go up. This has to be done. the story even the smallest thing you know so you you're never really taking a break which can be very taxing on your body you're constantly thinking what content to what make next? which one what has next to come exactly like, you know what to it's, do it's never yeah. like you know one video constantly. did well acche se matlab chai pani pi ke you can rest and you're done like you have to you're like oh this did well now the next one has to do even better you know that that is the so i have a follow up question for the same thing because it comes like in the same uh, category because a lot of people like literally this was the like assumption like at least 20 people said that you get so much free stuff like you know they have yeah. a that oh, you oh, get oh, so oh, much oh. like it's like you get everything for free you don't have to buy anything and like you know get a lot of free stuff before i became a creator like a lot of people you know my friends also you know who get not so easily touch se sab kuch free mein milta hai you know that type of thing so recently only i was having some conversation with a friend and like throughout the last one year like i started one year ago and since one year i've made 200 videos i've made 200 videos to be like where i am today that brand exactly. considered me an 200 videos oh my god yeah. just imagine the content is especially like when you don't have a team dude you know there are this content that gets deleted yeah. like it gets deleted you're not in focus you like the final videos se pehle there's so much that happens and i know like brands that like, basically you are an asset to the brand right now you are at a position where when you speak you have that thing because you taken so much effort to create that audience so now brands consider you valuable if you will to give It's you like that free stuff you do so much work and you build an audience uh that you, like you build an audience because the audience likes your work and you had to do a lot of work for people to like your work it's not like exactly. you know, just did uh something randomly and you got like a fame overnight and you know, yeah it's not it's like. not a viral so like, video so i don't know like if, if it's a complaint that we work hard getting free stuff i i don't think yeah, just I mean, get free stuff for everything we buy a lot of stuff we buy so many yeah we buy whatever you all want us to review like there are so many as people yeah. will say we want you to review this so i can't i don't go to the brand and be like they want me to review this so send this yeah, it's exactly, they yeah. they willingly sent it humko jo yeah. if you all want us to review we we buy yeah. and review so that is where you know even if we earn like a lot of it is investment like content investment because it's never like so, oh everything so is just coming chance, my pocket so by luck if they ask the product like which they want us to review and by luck if we, the brand does send it yeah, here send it's it. a bonus that it's like know, a bonus yeah, exactly this, this happens you know and then it's like Like, oh, so sad that sponsor. Like, I don't know why are people angry about sponsorship. So, like, why yeah, does it bother them? PR then? is not sponsor. Like, sponsorship. No, yeah, PR is PR. They've just sent it. Yeah. So PR is basically not sponsorship. We are not obligated to put uh, a story. We are not obligated to put a video or something. They just send so that. There is a chance the influencer might, yeah. you know, like only us tagging them or talking about it will give them the necessary marketing they need possibly. So PR के लिए they don't pay us or anything. They just send their product over with the possibility that it would get marketed. And 
when they want a sponsorship they don't just send products they ask for a lot with that yeah. it's a proper brief yeah. that comes with it so that's why sponsorships are selected very like you know it's it differs from creator to creator it's according to your niche like i would not take a sponsorship for a sports car because <laughs> i don't do that on my youtube True. right so like i mean even if i want the bmw or i want to ride it ride it i want to buy drive it i'm sorry i wouldn't really drive, like i now i do vlogs so maybe i could create a vlog out of it but i mean you know i have to think like i can't just be like oh ah bmw is coming like chalo chalo pad up pad like you know you have to think what will you do around your car is it going to match your channel is it going to match your audience like then you accept it you know so it's like I mean, is there wish I mean, that you want to set me up? I don't mind, but if you're going to ask me, to... yeah, I mean, I don't mind. If it's PR, I don't mind it. If it's sponsored, I'll have to think about it. Okay, you can ask. Oh God. The next assumption is that some influencers give wrong reviews for money. Ah. So wrong I as in like, like I don't know. Like it doesn't mean like. Review. Like if it's bad, it's good. Cool. You don't like it, but you still say you like it. So I I don't know if I should say this, but I will put it in a very proper form. I, I'll try. Okay, let's say just like how Sara said now, like she does beauty and lifestyle, so she doesn't know anything about a sports car. So let's say somebody who does tech reviews or gaming channels, and they review a skincare product for you. <laughs> I mean, you know. I know. It's. I know. Unless that yeah, becomes a little. Might be a skincare enthusiast, a you know, gamer. Can be. Not saying there is not, but you know, then I don't. I mean, it doesn't match knowledge. the genre, just, but like, then they, no, they, they yeah. The is telling about the product. If the product is like um, something, it has in it. They are just going to say that it has something on. They, they don't have the background knowledge, or maybe like that. So you, as an audience, can like kind of figure out who is. Uh, yeah, it's your job. You know what I I realize is that. people need to be smart enough to know ki you are on this channel to watch a vlog you shouldn't really care much about the skin care review because the skin care that person is not maybe that skilled enough so maybe yeah. he doesn't have the experience maybe that's so not what he is like you know he or she promoting skin care i mean they want to yeah, make money nothing wrong the thing i think exactly you know since influencer marketing is so new there are no big games that are sponsoring there are no big gaming companies in india that are sponsoring there are no big tech Girl companies skincare. that are sponsoring right these are the skin care companies and beauty companies want a lot of sponsorships so then it's not really the creators issue also it is what i think ke because wo bhi kya karega bro so, wo yeah. har cheez ke liye nahi bol sakta na that's what the, i how i think the thing is the gamers they don't even have a reason not to take it because they literally don't know anything about skin yeah, yeah like they like they don't know take it but this is for yeah, sure they exactly they don't even yeah. really know what is the mistake in taking it because they don't understand anything about it acha ek cream hai mai dikhaunga ya mai like even if i'm using it if like, yeah. it's is good it's good like you know what is the big deal like they don't know like the extra thing so yeah i think there are people who do it i mean i i personally don't do it yeah maybe this question is not for other genre, genres of people i think it's for beauty creators who would lie for a uh, review for free money i think it the first from person to person so see if i stand for honesty on my platform i will not do that because yeah. then i'm like literally cheating myself and my audience right every creator is different because every pe- yeah. like people are different every person is different if they don't mind it they will do it so you yeah. choose as an audience you choose if who you want to trust right it, it should not really be anyways they're going to lose the trust of the audience so what is the point like you know anyways so Yeah, I mean exactly. Like you know, the audience is nowadays smart enough to understand. You guys are smart enough to know what's going on. So I do think there are people who do, but I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. So the people we say speak about are a lot. There are a lot of fish in the sea. So we can't just say that no, 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 he does it. Okay. So, so um, influencers who started four to five years back got fame more easier than the ones who started one year back. They got it easier than who started one year back. I don't think that at all. Yeah. In fact, I feel like a lot of creators who've been in the industry for a while must be feeling it that जो अभी आ रहे कुछ ज़्यादा ही जल्दी बड़े हो रहे because there are a lot of platforms now, right? Um, I would say the fame numbering number times that time 
10k 50k only yeah. was a very high number yeah. okay, four five years ago okay so in that perspective uh, so when like there was nobody in the industry there were the very few people who were there so they got that exposure very easily not surely but because you know audience you see na na first mean, people used to not watch youtube that much yeah, yeah, they used to not surf instagram so there is no much. like one uh, so uh, so there's no like one you know right answer to it but now it has been very like i think it has become very oversaturated that there are a lot of people yeah it is you know yeah. so you have to stand out for people to, to follow you back then if people wanted to follow they had very few options so, um, i don't want this to come out like you know they will work hard for it i'm just telling no, you no 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 these days there are a lot of people there so for you to stand out it's a little difficult that yeah, was that is definitely that's what there. i meant by saying yeah you can't yeah, just be uh, you is. can't just be doing basics because everybody's seen everything like everything's yeah. done now like everything is done so if you want to still stand out you got to be out of the box so if mm-hmm. you're coming on a platform you can't just be like oh even i can do this even i can do this you can do this why why will people watch what you can True. do what others can do because they are already watching that person yeah. right so that is definitely there that nowadays the create but i feel like of course those creators worked very hard the only thing is they did not have so many options like yeah. nowadays who's coming into the creator industry or even me or like for us for that matter who are fairly new we have a lot of options which back in the day didn't have, like yeah. you know there are like only reels coming on instagram picked instagram apps yeah. so much so, right so i think platforms are understanding mm-hmm. creators now so i think so people literally it being the other way the path for the new ones um yeah so they, that, they are the pioneers yeah exactly like i mean i would if i didn't see any indian creator do it maybe i would be like maybe there's no industry in india that you know we can there's an option to do this they were the people who like you know took sure. that step made it possible they make you feel like yeah there is yeah. a there's a future over here True. that we can so it's like they didn't have much True. options True. but now it's oversaturated so it's like i mean it's balanced i think what do you do <laughs> so the next question or next assumption which is commonly followed uh, is basically about groupism that there's a lot of groupism on youtube or in the creator industry and there are certain groups and they don't talk to each other or whatever or bitch about each other and all that i i i'm not even I part think... of those groups to tell if it is the true or not honestly <laughs> yeah i mean i have not attended any events to know if it happens I mean, I'm sure it must, but I mean, like close that. Doesn't it happen everywhere? Just like maybe a feel. Yeah. Like that, so it's about how you know. vibe with someone, right? Like if I'm vibing yeah. with you, I can collaborate with you. If I'm not vibing with you, I can't yeah. make this True. video with you, right? Exactly. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. I can't talk on the your channel. So it's like they have have to match exactly. So yes. if I'm vibing with that set of people, I will so stick to them. Why will I try to? Bad, like you know, it's just like people just cannot be friends. Group is a hard job. जिससे Deep well the full time we come there what boys full time no so no. my my followers are so sweet their life is just so hectic which shouldn't be true because they are also humans they can of yourself uh you have a very rich and luxury like you know luxury life I wish I did I really really wish I did those with all the aesthetics and all like your brands expect you to be like that like recently only I've had so many expect experience like you know going back to this way we want to be this way we want to be like that I'm like bro first of all I don't have aesthetic in my house anywhere I had to start one pla- one brand had the bus they shoot so god one brand literally for a story they were like we want plants we want plants I was like bro I have no plants in my house where do I get plants for a story for an instagram story they were behind my life it is very irritating <laughs> yeah chalo uh, my bad started again we had to like you know finish we wanted to do more questions but i don't think but we can. i think we gave you a lot yeah, of guidance to keep you, you going guys, yeah <laughs> 